Hi guys, in this video, I will show you how to deactivate the licenses on a Palo Alto VM. Uh, this is specific to VM only, uh, which I am uh, showing you. Uh, there can be many reasons why you want to deactivate and free the licenses. Uh, for example, when you are migrating your uh, VMware infrastructure from one ESXi server to another ESXi server, or or from one one uh, uh, virtual environment to another virtual environment, from from uh, VMware to Azure, uh, 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 there are many examples, right? So, uh, if you don't manage the licenses before doing that, uh, your licenses so there are there are very high chances that the licenses on the new environment will get lost because the uh, VM CPU ID or the UUID will change and uh, that will not be linked to the uh, license key and then you'll have to call uh, Palo Alto support and uh, it will your down uh, your downtime will get extended uh, too much so I'll show you how to deactivate the licenses so do this before uh, you're migrating your firewall so that uh, you free up the licenses and uh, reinstall the licenses on the new environment okay so this is the firewall uh, Palo Alto VM uh, firewall uh, version 10.0 uh, which I have and uh, I'll show you the licenses which are installed currently so these are the licenses installed okay so uh, so uh, before uh, doing any uh, deactivation what you need to do is you need to go to first to go to the customer support portal where your uh, firewall VM is registered go to and then go to assets and then go to the licensing api okay so once once you uh once you go there the at the licensing api tab you'll get the option to enable the license key if not enabled okay so just click on enable and it will give you one license key then go to the firewall and let me pull up the cli Okay, so this is my firewall CLI. What you need to do is you need to run this command request license API key set key and copy the API key which you have uh, and sorry and paste the API key which you copied uh, from the support portal. Okay, and just press uh, enter. Once you enter that command, it will say that the API key has been activated. So come back to the firewall GUI and the same tab where, where we are currently right now, device, licenses, just scroll down and click on deactivate VM. So this will show you what are the licenses which are going to be deactivated and uh, it will also do a reboot uh, after the licenses have been removed. You can do this process manually if you don't if your firewall don't uh, doesn't have the internet access. Uh, but in my case it has the internet access so I'll just click on continue. Okay, so let me let me just refresh it. And let me log in again. Okay, it's coming up. Let me close this. And let, so you can see that uh, the licenses uh, are vanished. So it didn't really did a hard reboot because I was running a continuous ping and uh, uh, the pings didn't drop. So I don't know, although it says that it will reboot, uh, it doesn't do a hard reboot, maybe a soft reboot was done. Uh, okay, so like the services were refreshed. So let me go to the dashboard and you can see the serial number is now unknown. So the licenses have been removed, freed up from this device. This device is now unlicensed. Also, you can go to the support portal and 
uh, uh, have a look at the VM series uh, auth codes and there you can see you would see that the licenses have been freed up and available there uh, to be deployed on uh, the new uh, Palo Alto firewall so now you can uh, migrate this firewall you can shut down or delete this firewall and uh, spun up the firewall again at different location uh, whatever your, your requirement is and uh, you should be okay with it all right, guys, uh, thank you uh, for watching. I hope it was uh, useful. Thank you.